M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick one here on the firmware update of the Anytone 779. So I found the firmware on the McClaw's website. Just click here and you'll get the zip that you need. Now I've also found some video as well. Let's have a look at that. So you'll see that as, as the video plays, they hold down the monitor and the function button here. Turn on the radio with the turning knob and then you get the radio into firmware mode then you're going to need to run the included file which is in this programming list here the QX code programming update file so you're going to need that run that and once you've got it let's just go to that point then you'll end up with this window here on the right hand side so you need to select your so you just right click device manager once the cable's connected now the cable plugs into the front of the radio it is included with the radio plugs in where the microphone goes so right click device manager double click com and then it'll show up there you've got your com number so and then back on the right here this window here you need to select the com with the drop down com number com speed 115 200 and then to open the file, you would just click. Let's just open the program. So you've selected your com, selected your speed when it's connected, and then click open file. And then you would save that firmware file. And there's the firmware file there, AT779. So put that into your radio. That looks like it's year 21. And then click right. And hopefully that will do it. Now at the end of it, you do need to reset the radio and tell it which band to use. So let's just find that video. So here's the video here, and this is the process completing. I just go back. This is video from any tone to her. To, let's actually see them do the process. So let's select. Let's go back to this point here because I haven't got the radio, by the way. There you are. So they're opening the com, selecting the com speed. Then they select the update file double click, this is in Chinese, but double click the file that you just saw. Choose right, then right to the radio. Now it says reset radio after upgrade. And they do show a video of them doing this. Because some of these radios, uh, they operate differently in different parts of the world. Let that go through. Right, completed. And then hold down VM, turn on the radio. Select which mode, GMRS, Australian, Europe. That's the one we want because we're in the UK. Turn it off. Then hold VM again, turn it back on. So, so you're sort of repeating it. And again, select which one you want, upgrade complete. And I'll, I'll, if there is a, an, another reset procedure, I'll find that as well. So bye for now. Thanks for watching my channel. I hope that helps you upgrade the firmware. All the links will be in the description. 7.3, all the best.